Hi, this is Ali Arango, and today I want to show you how to fairly easily pixelate graphics inside of Blender 2.76. So let's get started. Okay, if this is your first time in Blender, I recommend you go to File, User Preferences, go to Input, and then choose Select with left click. Blender's default select is with right click, and this may confuse you if you're coming from Adobe or other 3D programs. Also, while you're in here, Go to add-ons and then make sure you put a check mark right next to 3D view colon 3D navigation. And this will just allow you to manipulate your view uh, more easily inside of Blender. Okay, what this tutorial is about is how to make graphics look kind of like uh, video games from the 80s and the, the early 90s where they were 2D video games and uh, right now along, among a lot of indie uh, game studios you see the, the style of, of pixel like graphics however one of the things that's amazing about the graphics is while they're you know typically 2D or at least they appear to be 2D uh, the animation tends to look spectacular in them and uh, I think it looks very cool you know again particularly because of the animation and uh, like one of the things that I liked when gaming moved from 2D to 3D, well, I, I appreciated the 2D art style was I am a big fan of animation. I just, I like animation. I like how it looks. The better the animation is, the more I'll, you know, like a game or whatever. Uh, I'll overlook a lot for good animation. So when gaming pretty much went from 2D to 3D, uh, 3D allowed you to have amazing you know spectacular animation however uh now you have the ability to animate in 3d have that super smoothness that can come from 3d animation but have the look of 2d animation so that's kind of about what that's kind of what this tutorial is about is how to give you that pixelized look Okay, what you see in front of you is a robot that I modeled. I showed how to model this robot in another tutorial. I'll put a link up so that you can get to that tutorial. Okay, where I learned to do this pixel art style is from a YouTube user whose name is Light BWK. Uh, if you want to go deeper into learning about how to do this pixel art method, I recommend you go to Light BWK's uh, YouTube channel and check out his video, which is where... I learned how to do this from that. The name of that video is quick pixel art in blender. Uh, the tune shading did you see on here? I learned how to do from a YouTube user named Marius Oberhoster. Uh, I believe the exact video that I learned how to do the tune shading from was called a uh, make human to anime in blender on Marius Oberhoster's page. Uh, since I have learned how to do that method from Marius, Marius has all kinds of very cool uh, videos on tune shading in the Blender renderer, tune shading in uh, the Cycles renderer. So if you want to learn more about doing tune uh, shading inside of Blender, I recommend definitely that you go check out uh, Marius Oberhoster's YouTube channel. Okay, what we're going to do now is you're going to hover your mouse over this triangular looking thing right here. You're going to left click and drag down. And what this does is just, just uh, separate your screen. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to hover my mouse here. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel back so we can see the entire robot mesh right here. Okay, now we're going to go right to here. I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to go to where it says the node editor. And then I'm just going to left click right here. Okay, now with that done, what we're going to do is we're going to click right here, which is our compositing uh nodes button so we're going to click there then we're going to go right here where it says use nodes we're going to put a check mark right here okay now we can see our different nodes right here so what i'm going to do is hover my mouse here i'm going to press shift then while holding shift press b draw a box right here that should zoom into those nodes so we can see we have a renders layers uh, node right here as well as a composite node okay one thing to be aware of is that we are in the blender renderer rather than the cycles renderer uh, i say this because normally when i use the node ed editor it tends to be when i'm inside of cycles so i just want you to be aware that we are currently in the blender renderer okay so what we're going to do now is 
take our mouse, left click here and drag to disconnect this uh, render layers node. And we're just going to push this over a little bit. I'm then going to go to add, distort, and then I'm going to go grab a transform node. So I'm going to left click here and then just move my mouse up here, then left click to lock that transform node into place right here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is left click here, drag this to the side. I'm going to left click here, then I'm going to press shift, then D. Then I'm just going to move my mouse over to pull out this duplicated uh, transforms node. When I left clicked here, it selected it, then pressed shift and D that duplicated the transform node. Okay, so now what we need is uh, we need to bring in a viewer node to bring in a uh, viewer node. I'm just going to move this to the side just a little. Uh, with this selected, we're just going to hold control. Then while holding control with this selected, press shift. And then that automatically causes Blender to uh, bring in this viewer node here. Okay, now we need one more node and that is the pixelate node. So we're going to click here to go to add, then filter. Then we're going to uh, select pixelate. And we'll put that right, eh, we'll put this right here. I just left click to lock that in place there. Okay, what we're gonna do now is make sure that our camera view is set up so we can easily see what's going on. I'm gonna hover my mouse here. I'm gonna left click and drag down so now I can see my navigation menu right here. Okay, if you need more space to see your tabs right there, what you can do is with your mouse hovered over this viewport, you can press and hold shift and while uh, holding shift, you can press the space bar. And what happened was is that our viewport just uh, went full screen. So now we can easily see the navigation to select it. Uh, then you can just press and hold shift again, then press the space bar again, and you're taken right back to the, view, the previous uh, way we were looking at this viewport before. Okay, what we went through all that for was so we could click here where it says view camera. So there's our camera view. I have an animation where this... Uh, Empty is rotating and then the robot is pairing it to the empty so the robot's uh, going to rotate as the empty rotates. So uh, I'm just going to right click and drag my timeline indicator to make the robot face forward. Uh, by the time this tutorial goes up, there should be another tutorial up showing you how to set up to have your uh, mesh. If you're choosing to use a mesh similar like this to have it be able to easily rotate. So anyway, we, you know, just got this view forward so we could see easily what we're about to do right here. Okay, so this node right here is our render layer node. So pretty much what this shows is what's, you know, through the camera. So see how there's nothing in here. So what we want to do is go where it says render, click render, and then select uh, image, right? We'll let this image render out. went black because it wasn't hooked up to the composite node uh, yet. But uh, you can see now that in the render layer, we can see our view here, right? Okay, so with that set up now, what we're going to do is just come from the image output into the image input of our transform node here. Okay, and by the way, I said image it's render image so you just go render you know render and then render image after you click that anyway you're going to come from uh, the transform image output you're going to left click here and drag and bring this down to pixelate you're going to go to the color output of the pixelate and then you're going to take this up into this other uh transform node just like so okay and now with that done what you're going to do is left click here and come out of this transform uh, images output and then just put this into the composite node okay now what we're going to do is with this first transform node we're going to go here click where it says scale then we're going to put in point two and then left click to get that to lock in so after you put in tw point two it'll look like 0 0.200 zero zero. we're then going to go to our second transform node and uh, we're going to click where it says scale one we're going to select here, then we're going to choose five, then left click to lock in, and then it'll look like scale, you know, 5.000. Okay, now with our nodes set up, what we're going to do is click here. We're going to go down to 
the freestyle setting, which you can see right here. I already had a check mark here because I had a previous freestyle setting on here. Uh, if you didn't have one on there, you can just click here now and put freestyle on. I'm going to click here. The previous setting that I had for line thickness was 0 0.250. I'm going to click in the setting now for line thickness. And I am going to change this to 1.5. And then I'm going to left click here to lock in that line thickness setting. Okay, now that we have our settings all set up, we can click here. Then we'll select render image. And there you go. Now you have your 3D art pixelated to look like 2D pixelized art. If you're not familiar with the pixelized art style and you somehow, you know, made it this far to into this tutorial, you're probably like, why would you want it to look like that? And again, it, it's it's uh, kind of recapturing an old look from the uh, the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, and again, because it's 3D uh, with this thing with a, a rig in it, if we put a rig in it, uh, just animating this art, the, the beautiful, smooth animations that we have the possibility of doing in 3D, but having this 2D look, man, just some very cool stuff that uh, uh, you can do. And uh, I've seen some uh, very cool things that uh, uh, people have done. And of course, you can uh, manipulate the settings and try to get different looks for it but you know I like uh, this general look for that particular pix pixelized uh, art style okay so what I'm gonna do now is click this X button here uh, with these nodes set up with the uh, pixel art style set up and I already have an animation to have this robot mesh uh, rotate uh, I am going to output this as a animation of the robot animating uh, or rotating in you know with its pixel art style on it so to do that I already have the camera view you can see that this is the camera view we're looking at right here uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure to have my camera set I tend to render things out uh, in 1280 by 720 uh, particularly when I'm dealing with YouTube uh, videos uh, I'm gonna scroll down I'm fine for this uh, frame rate normally I, I render things out at 24 frames per second now uh, however for this it's it's fine to leave it there uh, I'll scroll down more uh, currently we have this set to render as PNGs when you are doing animations that take a long time like if your render takes 12 minutes or 20 minutes to render. I recommend that if you go to render out a video, you leave this setting at PNG. And what you would do is you would make a folder where your PNGs go into, and then you would take those uh, PNGs and uh, you would just bring them back into Blender or another video editing program and put them together as a video. The reason why you would do that is because uh, if Blender for some reason has some kind of issue and it stops rendering, you don't lose off your work. You only lose up to the point where you, you know, render it out your number of PNGs. However, uh, this should render out, I believe, fairly quickly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is click here, change this to H.264. I'm then going to go to encoding. I'm going to click here, change this format from AVI to MPEG-4 uh, for the format or the encoding format. If you had a uh, video, you would click here. Typically I use MP3, but there's no, uh, did I say video? I meant sound. If you had sound, you would click here and you know put MP3 for the sound. I don't have any sound, so. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is click here and I am going to uh, just make a folder. name it click here after naming the actual name of the movie I'm gonna select accept 
then I'll just scroll up here and uh, you know I have it set for the frame of one which is fine and then the end for 314 which is fine so then I'm just gonna select animation to start rendering out uh, this animation okay guys that's it for the tutorial uh, if you wanted to make this animation look less obvious that it was done in a 3d program you might want to take the frame rate down maybe to 15 frames per second uh, however yeah for what it is I, I like how it looks and uh, I think the pixel art style is a uh, pretty cool uh, for those of you who like the videos on this channel and reshare them thank you very much I really appreciate it and to those of you who are new to this channel if you like the videos on this channel and you would like to see more please subscribe and thank you for viewing